This is the uh, the Marmot Dry Climb Wind Shirt. It is uh, designed to be layered above your uh, your base layer or your mid layer, and basically protect you from the wind. Um, some of the features that I like about this is the elastic cuffs on here are not too tight. Um, they are a little loose, and that may be a problem for some, but for me, they, they work out all right. Um, it does have the one pocket here, and in the back. The, uh, the rear portion is actually cut a little lower, so if you were, uh, you know, tucking it in or if you were uh, wearing a pack, it wouldn't ride up as much. Um, it is definitely a lightweight uh, material. It's about nine ounces, and uh, the exterior material is um, just like a thin kind of, you know, nylon type material. And then on the interior, there is some uh, insulation, and let me uh, give you a little closer look at that. So this is just to give you a little bit uh, closer look at the uh, the dry climb interior. This is a breathable insulation that they have, and uh, it works fairly well. Um, you can see here on the cuffs, we have the slight elastic, uh, and the insulation goes all the way down to that. And then on the uh, on the pits here, you have instead of the nylon exterior, you have uh, this mesh here that's designed to help with ventilation. All right, now from a performance perspective, this is an extra large, and I'm kind of a big dude, so it, it fits uh, pretty decent. If I layer underneath it, it can get a little snug, so just make sure that when you try something on in the store, you have an understanding of what your layering underneath is gonna be. Uh, from a wind stopping aspect, it does pretty decent. It stops the wind, and that thin bit of insulation does take the chill off. Although I will say that wearing this over a base layer while hiking is not gonna work. Um, I, in, it was about 35 degree weather, I wore this over my base layer and I started sweating pretty bad and I just wasn't venting enough, even unzipped. And I think that was because I needed something that was going to cover the wind, but not insulate. And this has that little bit of insulation. So keep that in mind if you're going to be doing a lot of uh, strenuous activity and you're looking for a wind shirt, this may not be the best option for you. Uh, another issue with this is that it, it is a little expensive. Uh, I think I paid about 90 bucks for it. I think it's around 100 at this point in time. There are other wind shirts out there that are a little bit cheaper that don't have the insulation and that are lighter. Uh, one example would be the Patagonia Houdini, which is, I think it weighs like four ounces. So about half the weight, no insulation, but it's going to perform a little bit better on the, uh, the aspect for wind without the insulation and rain. This will wet out fairly quick. It does have a little water resistant coating, so a light sprinkle would be all right, but if you're getting a lot more rain, this is going to wet out real quick and you're going to be cold. So, in my opinion, this would be one to possibly pass up and look at something else. Unless you're looking for something that has wind protection, slight bit of insulation, and you're not going to be doing a whole lot of strenuous activity, then give the Marmot Dry Climb wind shirt a look. You might like it. Appreciate you guys watching and stick around. We've got more videos coming up. <laughs>